Hello boys and girls, welcome back to another day in Minecraft where we are beside the gunpowder farm that we have built last time and among other items that are in there you can see uh, the one hour session got us uh, a bit more than three stacks of gunpowder that's way better than we had before but uh, today we have to turn our focus on some other smaller projects we need to finish this off improve the rates by uh, basically eliminate all the other spawning uh, spaces uh, we want to also get away up and down here uh, and we will also go back to the nether to uh, finish the uh, watering building there. But uh, let's start with, uh, with this first project here. Um, how shall we do this? Yes, I think in here we will have the uh, the uh, bubble column, and in here. drop shoot uh, where we can have a bit of water sitting on top of there so um, that means placing some blocks now that the two drop shoots or the, the two channels are in place we have to place the water so the one uh, for the downward, that's easy. We just place it here above the sign. Then we can drop from above. And the water will basically negate any fall damage and we come out uh, below. Uh, this one is a bit more difficult because here we will actually need uh, a bit of soil 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 at the top and we have to get our way all to the t top without dying and uh, falling back and then we have Axis here on the level where also our AFK spot is. That's the way down. So this is basically the way up. And we place one bucket of water there. And that will flow eventually all the way to the bottom. So you've seen no damage. And when the water arrives, which can take a while, I think here it's coming, uh, we can place the, uh, there it is, we can place uh, one kelp and then use bone meal to uh, let it grow. And this is probably way better than harvesting a bunch of bone meal uh, and planting it on the way up. Because uh, as this drop shoot is so long, um, there is a chance that you would suffocate uh, on the way. And as you can see, it almost... Uh, needed 
two stacks of uh, of bone meal but now we can break this block and then we shoot all the way to the top and uh, there we should find a bunch of uh, dancing uh, kelp and there we have our way down and our way up so the next thing is lighting up a few more caves especially in in that area uh, so i don't think that's that's too interesting but it needs to be done so time to get out of the rain and uh, underground I spent quite a bit of time using these torches to light up everything that I can could find behind these walls but now it's also time to clean up this wall tighten it in so that we only have uh, the chunk or the main chunk uh, exposed and uh, probably uh, up there uh, where we have the uh, existing slime form that we still have to dig down to uh, that's where at least on that side we will open up a bit the wall and do that uh, when we deal with the wall for the slime farm but as this is quite a tedious process i think we will do that as a time lapse with some music block of uh, cobblestone uh, or uh, walls of cobblestone uh, but before we do another check of a one hour session with the farm below I want to show you what I did in the nether for the bartering system because I completed that as well well, do you like what you see? This is a bit bigger than I first envisioned it. Uh, and it took quite a bit of uh, resources. Um, especially quartz and lapis. Which of course was all traded with our villagers. Uh, which used up quite a few of uh, of our emeralds so I think one of the the next projects is a more sustainable emerald farm but now everything is here nice and clean uh, spawn proof also uh, behind the scenes there is quite a bit of uh, space between the uh, inner layer and the outer layer and the way to the top uh, actually goes here from the from the first floor uh, up here you can go up there so that's another uh, project finished and uh, the last thing we want to figure out today is how good is our gunpowder creeper farm so i will empty the chest and uh, do another one hour session to see the results 
Now then, let's have a look in this chest. And I would say for one hour, more than one chest, uh, almost uh, a double chest full of gunpowder. Uh, that's more than I could uh, get with the old farm when AFKing uh, a whole night and this was only one hour. So I think uh, spawn proving everything that made a big difference. So with that we are set when it comes to gunpowder and we can turn our attentions to something else but that will come in the next episode so hope you enjoyed this one if you did please consider leaving a like don't forget to subscribe to uh, not miss out on the fun next time and until then goodbye